Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. Um, uh, well, what was I doing last time? I was waiting for Ender Pearls. Well, I'm still waiting for Ender Pearls. But in the meantime, let's go and do a few other things. Well, what we can do, what we've seen before, is we can, first of all, we can produce some um, signal and blend. And then with signal and blend, we can make some ingots. But first, to do that, we need to make uh, a redstone furnace. And redstone furnace has quite a few uses anyway. So let's do that. So redstone furnace, what's the recipe we want for it? redstone furnace? I was also having a look at recipe for ender, po uh, for ender chest. Fairly, fairly straightforward, really. I'd forgotten about it from between the previous between the episodes so we want to have a look at um, Bridgestone furnace probably looking at furnace is the best way to find that and it is going to be this one so we need a machine frame from thermal expansion two copper gears one redstone and some bricks well yeah, and some bricks and some a redstone reception coil and a machine frame. Now a machine frame requires one tin gear, four iron ingots and two two glass. Okay, now we can I'm not sure if I've got a mould for gears yet. Let me double check that. Yes I have good. Now I oh Oh yes, I've used up all my iron, so let's just remove this now and turn this on. Take the iron blocks out, I've got plenty of iron blocks now, of course. So we can make a tin gear. So let's get some tin into here. I think I'll make two tin gears if we've got, if we've got enough tin. Oops, of course I've got to turn this off. And as soon as I remove the the mould here, we'll let two come through. It'll stop producing them. So we're right like that. Okay, now we can simply remove this. We've also got to make some copper gear. So while we're here, we'll do that as well. Let's put the tin back and get the copper. Put the copper into here. And you'll see it won't do anything until... Oh, well, it will do because it's emptying it out all the time. Have I got any copper? 133, is that all I've got? I'm not going to have enough to make a copper gear in that case, am I? Oh, well, I must have some copper elsewhere. We can probably do it the other way. Okay, I must have used all the copper up. Let's turn it off and get rid of that. Turn it off again before I forget. I've got lots of I've got lots of that so let's just see what we wanted was a copper gear so I suspect what's of iron as well don't we I suspect this recipe will do for copper as well I'm not 100% sure to be honest with you yeah we've got two of those good now we need four pieces of glass which means we should need four obsidian Well, look how much obsidian we've got in here. 95. It's going up quite fast, actually, this obsidian. Um, we decompose that. But I should remove everything from here, shouldn't I? We don't need all of this stuff in here. Put that in this chest if there's space. Give that just a quick sort. Yep, plenty of copper now. Uh, carbon, I mean. Uh, right, so we've got 64 of those. I was making some. I was making some cobblestone. And cobblestone, you get two stacks for one piece of uh, obsidian. I made a boo boo with that last time. I wasn't sure exactly how many we got. We see, we got three. Press escape. We get the fourth. So it tells me the redstone reception core. That's two, one gold and two redstone. Uh, 
machine frame with glass. Two glass. Oh, four iron ingots and one tin gear. Right, yes, okay, that's probably what I was thinking of that one. Iron ingots. We'll make two machine frames because I've got a feeling we need both of them. Um, redstone reception coil. Two copper gears. Ah, oh, bricks and one redstone. One redstone. Now, bricks we need clay. So for clay we need water in a bucket. Have we got a bucket in here? Don't see one. Yeah, we have. So we need some water in a bucket. That's no big deal. Let's slip water, push it in there. And then we need some dust. Well, I've been making some um, sand or oh, gravel, I think I've been making. Yeah, I've got some sand in here. Look. Let those go through, and that'll make some dust. I was going to make some sand for the. Um, cactus as well because that cactus farm is fairly full well it's all grown up and needs to be planted out so they'll make some sun and do that as well in the meantime let's just get this clay made up so we need the bucket like that put the bucket in there but we can't actually use the hopper let's take the hopper out of it now oops I didn't mean to do that after me, get that again. I can fucking get it. Yeah, got it. Yeah, hopper. Let's turn on this chest here and put the hoppers straight down on that, like that. And then we can put the actually, I'll put the water in this in here and I'll put the, the dust in there. So every time that comes out, we get a piece of clay. So, what all we need to do is to put the, fill up the water again. Collect the clay and put the water in. Oops, missed. And you get the clay again. And then do it again. We now have three pieces of clay. We should have. Where have they been flying off to? There's nowhere else it could go to, is there? One of these things that just disappears from time to time. Or does it come back again? I might be in the hopper. No. Huh. Good thinking. Right, so we're going to decompose these these three clay. That's going to give us six, which is going to actually give us six. I should put a store book. I have a second book, shouldn't I? And that gives us twelve. Which should be enough. Let's go and smelt these down to bricks. Fortunately, I think the furnace will work. I need some more. Oops, didn't go in there. And that's not working. Must work. I can make this refractory kit clay. I don't think we can make some binding composite and some normal. plus crafting compressing redstone furnace um i wonder have i got the do i have to use it oh, maybe i have to use it do that differently let's go and get some more clay into here i think i might have to do this differently huh. I wonder if I have to use a chemical synthesizer to make bricks, because <laughs> otherwise it's a catch-22, isn't it? You know, you've got to... We're trying to make... If we want to smelt down clay, we can only do it in redstone furnace, which we need bricks for. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? So hopefully that isn't the case. Where did that disappear? Get into the hopper. Amazing. Okay, let's just try that. Get one. Let's have a look at this one. Usage. Oh, yes, we can use four to make eight bricks. 
and that's what we need to do hmm okay so we need um four so we need another few of those so we need at least three more i've got enough i've got enough dust to me don't need to worry about that so we just need buckets of water Oops, where's, it gone? where's my bucket gone to because what we don't oh, i'll put those into there one time but get another bucket's worth actually that's a bit irritating going down there well that should be enough for the time being Well, that'll definitely be enough because we're going to get at least one per, aren't we? So, we've got six. So, in total, we've got seven. So, now we can make this like this. And that will give us eight. In fact, there's actually no advantage in doing it any other way, is there really? Because you get two for one and you need four bricks for a set of five bricks. So, that's cost doesn't cost any less so right those are those two and I think that's all we need for the redstone furnace let's go and see how we're getting on with the end with the oh we've got an ender pearl house that's one doing that is getting there slowly so we wanted to make some gears and we need to make a frame now that was tin glass and four ingots if I remember rightly good we can take this one off as well because I only want one ender pearl for the time being. Then we can make those um, ender chests. In fact, we might as well put the chests in there while we're thinking about it. Well, I'm thinking about it anyway. Oh, sure, that would have been fine. Hopefully, I don't get another ton of recipes when I put this in there. No good. So then, after that, we can make up the. Oh, I've got 20 glass in there put the rationing pipe and then we can probably make up the um oh we need a redstone reception call don't we so that'll help so take that one as well they don't actually need so much power i don't think anyway this is around about two-thirds the way done so it's just a question of being patient for that so in the meantime i'm going to make some uh cocoa beans that's the wrong place let's go over here just check my oxygen fine for the time being now cocoa beans are basically synthesized from oxygen, carbon, nitrogen and hydrogen, I think. Let's take those if that's what we actually need. And cocoa beans, let's look at those. Here we go. So in here we can we can of course we can replicate them so to speak and then we need this themobrine i think that's how it's pronounced so we need seven c7 h8 n4 o2 so i can remember to do that in this machine so it was c7 oops too many oh this is a call try again Oh, so H4. Oh, I think it was that N4 actually. So do that. I think memory's gone already. Dreadful. And it was O2. I do remember that. But it might be that I have to do something different. Let me just double check the recipe again. Oh, yes, indeed it is. Oh, it's decomposing it. I want to get the composing it. Oh no, that's fine. Oh, H8. That's fine. One more. And there we go. Now I'm going to put this into the microscope because that's one of those useful ones. And then all we have to do is to put this in the top right hand corner. 
and get some cocoa beans. Oh no, I've run out of space. Let me just remove this. One cocoa bean will be fine. What we're going to do with this is just put it up here on this rubber tree, or part of a rubber tree, and that'll then grow. We'll harvest it, and it'll get about three for each one, I think, and then we'll be able to go carry on doing that. And next thing, let's have a look. I'm going to make something else to put in one of my doorways. And what I'm going to make is aspirin. Let's have a look what the recipe for aspirin is. Um, that's ASPI, isn't it? Aspirin. Okay. C9H8O4. Very straightforward recipe, actually. So C9. H8 with my H gone here we are oh must have moved and O4 there we go and I'm going to get these I need eight anyway so I need some more carbon I've got enough of at the moment hydrogen Oxygen, I'm short of. Let's get some oxygen out of here. I've got some. No, I don't see any oxygen. Oh, I've got some plenty of water. Let's use one of these waters and here decompose that because that's going to give me the, both the hydrogen and the oxygen that I need. Let's see, aspirin did come at one. We just need two more. What am I missing? Probably carbon, yes. Right, that'll do. Now, when you put, we'll put that button somewhere near the front door, I think. Aspirin. I'm going to put it here. And then when you walk into this, you get regen. So let's just walk into this and then press E. They get regeneration. Not very long. Regeneration T for about two seconds. But it does help if you've been hurt. You see? I'm standing in that. So I'm regening all the time. So that's what you use aspirin for. So it's good to have on the by the doorway because if you usually go out, got some mobs attacking you, and then you're usually messed up. How many is it doing? It's not yet there yet. Still working on that one. And in Galactic Science 1, you can actually make penicillin. Let me just change my oxygen tank because I'm sure I have got low oxygen still like that. Actually, it's not bad. I wanted 32 to not take half of those, put the other two in there. And we need diamonds. And then since we got that thing to work, we'll be fine. The penicillin, I'm not sure what the recipe for penicillin is. Let's have a quick look. Because that used to give you 40 seconds of um, regen. I'm not sure it's... No, how do you spell penicillin? Is it... There we go. So we can actually do this one as well because it's basically we need some sulfur, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Let's take go and try that. I'm not sure because normally when you look at these things, it tells you. So look here, for instance, just tells me it's penicillin. But if I looked at, for example, aspirin, can't spell again. And you shift on this one here, it says you get a potion effect. Regeneration for two seconds, power one. So, I think Galactic Science one. This worked. This works really well. So I'll just see if it actually works in this while we're waiting for those under pulse. Because I am curious to know whether it's going to work. So, what have we got in here? Let's just give this a quick sort. We need plenty of C. Plenty of hydrogen. 
oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur, wasn't it? Now, do I have any sulfur? Uh, 64 sulfur, yes. And nitrogen. Oh, I'm having difficulty seeing nitrogen. So what I will do... That's not yet ready. But I think the rotting flesh has got it in, actually. I'll just take a couple of these. Just check the usage of that before I do anything else. We want it to be decomposed. Surprisingly, it has a large number of uses. That's a pretty good one. That's actually fairly close to what we got. We got a 5% chance. I would need about 20. Hmm. I don't mind much, let's take some more. Let's take, th oops, what did I just do then? I didn't shift right click, I just wanted to right click it. Well, let's hope that we get one of these, maybe you get two. None, fantastic. All right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna take the rest of it anyway. Because it's going to be a while before we get to the stuff, and by that time, I'm about to have got a few more zombies around, which we've picked up their flesh. I normally go outside in the morning and pick it up. At forty. Well, I was a bit unlucky last time. We've got one, one in twenty chance, and I put in thirty-two. No way. Okay, I um, don't think that's a five percent chance, but it looks like. 72 and got none. That ain't good. What else have we got? Actually, we'll go back over here and see what else we can find with some nitrogen in it at the moment. There must be something in here. Cellulose doesn't. Rational doesn't. Propane doesn't, of course. Keratin, well, we keep that. Oh, we haven't got an Oh, we've got an anine. We've got plenty of anine. We could use this one. Let's just take off. We use this for string as well. What else we got in here? Glycine, hydroxin. Okay, let's decompose this. I'll put that, these eight bottles in there, so that's where the aspirin came from. We need about eight. That might do actually. Let's just take those out of there so penicillin oh did I did I take a record of I don't think I did you know I'll take a record of this just to be absolutely sure let's get this book out and double check what we actually put in it just recently no I didn't I used Thermobrown that was the one for coca beans put the book back and then put the aspirin into that as well. Right, we can decompose the aspirin and put it back to what it was. You get, well, these, these sort of compounds, you always get the same stuff back anyway, so it's no big deal. It was just carbon oxygen, I thought it was... Right, okay. So, what do we want? Penicillin. So C16, let me just double check that by the way, you can click on it like this. That's the decomposer, but I don't want the chemical synthesizer. I know, it's very stressed, everything's fine. So six, C16, okay. 16C. I think it was 19H, wasn't it? What else? Yep, N2. And... What's it gone to? Aspirin, penicillin. 
that one. O4. And last but not least, one S. What have I got wrong? Oh, that's 18 H. Well, a bit too far off. Where's my H gone to? So you do the last one. I'll give you seven, press it again. Eight, 15, three, 18. So now we should have it. I'll need the sulfur in there, don't I? So let's just remove the copper from here. Put the sulfur in. So we need eight of those. How many are going to get? Three. Again, six. So we're just using up quite a lot of hydrogen. Seven. So I'm missing. I'll probably be missing either hydrogen or carbon. Carbon. I'll be missing carbon. You need basically eight to put a block down. So let's see if this works. Let's just try it in this corner. If it doesn't work, it don't work. Well, I've lost a bit, but not very much. Move that out of the way. Regeneration four for 40 seconds. So it does work. Okay, let's pick this up and put it somewhere sensible. Basically means, yeah, when that's happening you're fairly indestructible so I'm going to put it down by this doorway over this side this time another one of my little chemicals so there we are then learnt something new today I'll have to call this episode penicillin oops I've just put everything where I don't want them never mind empty tubes let's have a look let me see tube no, mine can have. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I'm hoping that before the end of this episode, which isn't going to be very long by the looks of it, we've actually managed to achieve something. Well, we have actually. We've, in, we've achieved penicillin, and we still haven't got our end of pearl, but we're very close to that now, so we just about ready we could actually put one of these into here of course and then you can see we can make our ender chest so we'll do that what's the that's about the power consumption is actually we could turn this one now nah, leave it for the time being this one's going to take quite a lot of power it's about the same as um ender pearl so i'll turn it Ooh, what did i just do How did that do that? I take one thing off and it goes and clears all the rest of them off. That's uh, and uses up all the stuff. That's uh, not what I wanted at all. So while well, that's doing that, but we have actually completed the quest because I've got the rationing pipe. So let's take this out of here too. By the way. This can go down the bottom here because it's only now needing the machine frame. So let's have a look at that. Is he completing a quest? That's amazing. Rationing pipe is this one. Let's detect. Great. So we now get five stack upgrades, which we can claim. So we'll put those in there. That's really useful for later on. For the for the end right um for this we actually need some more rationing pipes by the way um but you'll see the usage of that when we come to doing it it's a bit it's quite a lot further along the, the path of things so on that note i think it's time to call it a day i hope you've enjoyed this episode making progress a bit slower now the initial ones were very fast because they're very small tasks but it's, it's getting there. So until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.